If it was Marie Antoinette's dress, we're assuming that it was, then it was probably handed to a courtier when she was finished with it. And certainly at the revolution in France is probably when it made its way to England. Corelli, our founding director, was a big shopper. And if you read his book, I Brought the Ages Home, he has wonderful stories of where he got things, how he got things. In 1925, it was purchased in London from a private antiques dealer. She had these three 18th century dresses, and this one comes with this provenance of Rose Bertin. She talks about the embroidery. Rose Bertin was a dressmaker to Marie Antoinette. She's sure that he will like it when he sees it, and um, if he doesn't, there's someone hot on the trail to have it. The curator, she would choose objects, and then I come in to the picture, and I look at them and determine how stable they are. I've made a photographic image and I just block off every area that I work on. Once I've done that, I will do a final examination and then I can start the treatment. Rose Bertin is this icon of fashion history and is often said in the same breath. He's the first named dressmaker and the founder of Haute Couture. Marie Antoinette had lots of dressmakers. They were in, in fact called uh, Marchand de Mode. They were women who did not make dresses. They were merchants who dealt in all the trims you would want to make this dress look amazing. Rose Bertin was apparently very good at this. She had good or appropriate taste and could somehow make everyone look good. And around the court, she was so well known that she became dubbed the Minister of Fashion. <laughs> I get the call and I pull it up on the database and then I will pull it out for the curators to ponder and they decide whether or not it's going to be used. I am creating a form without interfering with the dress at all, or as little as possible. It's complicated because it's been worn by at least two different people. The skirt is fairly soiled. It has a lot of loss. I'm just going to confirm that the fiber is silk and I'll just have a look at it under the microscope. And what I'm seeing is silk. Every time you do any treatment on an object, it's invasive and you're causing some damage. So you want to make sure that what you do is minimal but also that it lasts. In terms of conservation, the best thing to do is just to let everything stay in the dark. In terms of curation, the best thing to do is to fluff everything up and bring it out. What it represents for this installation is a piece worn by Marie Antoinette, which is 18th century, but in fact the dress has been altered in the 19th century. We're not going to try and undo that. That's part of the history of the object. This dress had already been requested for loan from the Palace of Versailles in France. There are so few of her dresses remaining, and this is one that is more complete. These things survive because they are a commodity, and it's like a piece of jewelry or something in times of difficulty. It's a saleable item. This is a cornerstone of our 18th century collection that you see resonances of in the traditions of haute couture that are still continued today. Mm -hmm.